Tragedy in the city of Holyoke, New Year's Day. It's a sad day for Holyoke right now. A fire started at a five-story apartment building on the corner of Northeast and East White Streets just before 9 o'clock Sunday morning. Holyoke Fire Captain Anthony Cerruti said one woman died and two people were still unaccounted for at noontime. I just walked up and when we opened the door it was black smoke. We walked up for the, because the alarm and then we just ran out and when I came out everybody was jumping. I saw like three people jumping. Holyoke firefighters, police officers and emergency crews were seen running towards the flames within minutes to help. Some were seen giving CPR. Victims were taken to the hospital by ambulance and tears streamed down the faces of those who were uncertain of what happened to their loved ones. The first day of the new year and the fire destroyed 25 families homes. Many of them woke up to smoke and flames. Some of them had to hang out their apartment windows to escape. Those families looked on in disbelief as firefighters continued to battle the flames throughout the day, watching on as their belongings and lives were destroyed. The American Red Cross offered assistance and the homeless families were taken to the Veterans War Memorial Building on Appleton Street and the Dr. Marcella Kelly School on West Street. Springfield and Chickabee firefighters helped. One firefighter was treated for a hand injury he got while setting up a ladder. I heard people screaming, then I saw a white smoke, and then that's it. When I opened the door, it was smoke, so I don't know what to do then. So I tried to just get back through the window and wait for the fireman, firefighter. While firefighters spent hours fighting the flames, there was a shriek and a glimmer of hope a cat could be seen in the window of one of the apartments. I let him know that the cat was right there. So I guess the firefighter seen them and broke the window, got him out. I'm glad he's alive. Perez said he hasn't named the cat, but thinks Garfield or Survivor might be suitable names now. As the state fire marshal's office helps to look into what started the fire, there are still questions as to how the flames got so big so quickly. You know, these buildings are protected by a fire alarm system, so, uh, you know, it's concerning to us. You know, when, when a fire gets this far out of control. It's another question that firefighters hope to have answered starting the new year. In Holyoke, David McKay, 22 News.